Breaking the Wall of Contamination, here in Kainz, University of Regensburg. Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm presenting you my vision of breaking the wall of contamination. So I'm a chemist, and we chemists most of the time try to discover new reactions or to improve well-established syntheses, regardless if you're working in academia or in industry. Doing so, purification of chemical compounds turns out to be sometimes problematic or tedious. And in a chemical re reaction, usually a substrate is reacted with an excess of reagents and a catalyst can be added to accelerate this reaction. However, from the final product, for example from a pharmaceutical drug, these uh, excess of reagents as well as catalysts have to be removed. Especially catalysts are often very expensive and even highly toxic, so you definitely want to remove them and probably recycle them. Common purification methods like chromatography, extraction or filtration, however, all have some serious drawbacks. For example, to push a product mixture through a densely packed column, a filter requires a lot of energy and also a lot of solvents. In the end, you then have to remove these solvents by evaporation, with, which again requires a lot of energy. Also, the materials applied in these cases cannot always be recycled. We now introduced magnetic nanoparticles as recyclable supports for these reagents and catalysts. We are working with highly magnetic metal nanoparticles, which are covered by some layers of carbon to protect the core from oxidation or leaching. On the surface of these nanoparticles, we can then introduce linker groups, and on these linker groups, our reagents and catalysts. We then add our magnetic tools to reaction mixtures, which is shown here on a lab scale. And after the reactions are finished, we simply attach a magnet to the side of our reaction vessel, uh, collect all magnetic materials just within seconds, and can then decant the pure product. After some washing steps, the nanoparticles are then ready to be recycled for the next run. Going one step further, these nanoparticles can not only be used for the convenient synthesis of clean products, but, but also for the removal of contamination directly from the environment, for example, from water streams. Choosing the right ligands on the nanoparticle surface, heavy metal ions, which are highly toxic, for example, cadmium or lead, can efficiently remove choosing a flow setup, leading to a cleaner and safer environment. Thank you for your attention.